to you by Concerned Citizens Alliance, where our motto is Local Politics Makes a Difference. The title of this video is Dallas Massacre. Recently, um, we all know about the, um, most of us are right now, this week is Friday the 8th of um, July, and uh, many of us are still trying to figure out what happened in Dallas. Um, and, and, it, and it really does need to be addressed. But before we go to Dallas, we need to go what happened on Tuesday, Tuesday morning. Um, two officers uh, fatally shot a black man. His name is Alton B. Sterling in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Um, and they was trying to arrest him. At the time, um, a 911 call was called for um, Mr. Sterling, um, but he was brandishing the gun, and um, that was the first video that we saw that happened on two, that happened on Tuesday, and that was um, where he was resisting arrest, and the police officers. There's going to be some controversy behind it, but police officers um, they they shot and wrestled him to the ground, and they shot him, saying that he had a gun. Um, on a side note. Um, I was I would like to say that that based upon the justice system that we have that blacks have to uh, contend with um, it is unlikely that those police officers will get charged now I'm not an attorney but historically police officers they don't do they don't get charged they don't um, so and that's sad to say but you know I I would love to be wrong in this case here. And in the second case, on Wednesday, Wednesday evening, a police officer fatally shot a black man, uh, Philando Castile, age 32, at a traffic stop. Now this one here, um, this brother had a concealed carry permit. A concealed carry permit told the police officer that he had a concealed carry permit. And his girlfriend, um, I believe her name is um, Diamond. Um, it may be correct, it may be incorrect. But his girlfriend, yes, it's Diamond Reynolds. His girlfriend told him, told the police officer, or told the video, but she live streamed it. She said that he told you that he had a concealed carry and he had a weapon in the car. And the police officer evidently asked him to give his driver's license, his identification. So he was reaching to get his identification when the police officer shot him four times and he died right there in the car graphic video we're listening we're, we're watching um, this man taking his last breath uh, and that's that and the thing about it his daughter the little I think a four-year-old daughter was in the back seat that's and, uh, a shame to Dallas in a Dallas case in a Dallas situation it was um, I would say it, what happened in Dallas was a reaction to what, to not just what happened with the Alton and, and Castile uh, situation, not, not just that, but a plethora, a plethora of cases of shooting of unarmed black men being shot down by police officers. And um, wrong reaction, of course, but five police officers were gunned down. They were providing protection and order for a uh, Black Lives Matter uh, march, a peaceful march, and they were gunned down. The name of the gun was Micah Johnson, 25, an Army veteran who lived in the Dallas area. Now, that is sad, but that is not, uh, that's never the answer um, to um, to this problem and I will at the end of this video. I will give the answer to the problem, but um, Police officers have, a, have they have a hard job to do and um, and, and they not all police officers are bad so By killing just a matter of fact um, uh, Michael Johnson he wanted to kill white police officers and um, I 
that is not the way to do and creating a race war i mean doing what dylan ruth that scumbag um did here in charleston by killing the nine and in, in emmanuel church last year uh, who wanted to start a race war um look um we don't need a race war we're outnumbered anyway okay what we need uh, which i will tell you what we need but um but what we don't we do not need a race war. What we need is unite as a as a race and unite as a country. That's what we need. You need unity. And I'll explain why I think that how, how we can get um, this unity. Um, but five, um, I believe it was total 12, seven injured, uh, wounded, police officers wounded, and five um, died uh, from their wounds from uh, Mr. Johnson. And um, it's it is sad, and um, it, it does it does the country no good. Now to the solution. I believe the solution, just as Marcus Garvey believed what the solution was, and Malcolm X and even Martin Luther King believe the solution is that um, after slavery, um, they tell us to pull ourselves up by the bushcraft, but they didn't give us any boots. Uh, we didn't even get the 40 acres and a mule. I mean, even the, the, if you didn't give us the 40 acres, even the mule would have been helpful. At least we got to have some, some, uh, a way to work and a way to eat. Um, but I believe that economic independence is what the black man need and reparations. I believe I am um, on board with uh, Dr. Claude Anderson. If we look at some of his videos and what he talks about reparations. Um, but in the light, in, in the event we don't get reparations, what we can do is that be, is to control um, um, our politics. We need to get involved in the politics. We need to get involved um, into the political process and local politics. This is the motto here um, at uh, Concerned Citizen Alliance. We believe that local politics makes a difference because local politics, you can also that that will affect who is going to be on the police force. There makes no sense, like in the city of North Charleston, 75% of the police officers are white, but 50% of, um, of the population is black. But 80, I've been 80 to 90% of the, those incarcerated are black. We need to have, we need to control the politics so we can also control the, um, the who's on the police force. And then we also need to control who's, who's sitting on the bench. We need to also control who's on the jury. We also need to control our economics. And part of the way we do economics is that one, yeah, buy black, but also the contracts of the city. Those are, those are revenue streams that can bring it, that can, that can uh, lift the business up. And that is one way that we can, that we can do it. Um, I listened to um, James Baldwin, and James Baldwin said this, um, said this that uh, racism um, is a race without a finish line for the black man in this country. There is no, we're going to have racism forever. We're going to just have to deal with it. So we need to unify. We need to pull our resources together. We need to, just like the Chinese and Japanese, the Mexicans, um, Latin people, they stick together. We need to stick together. Uh, I do not think that we need to continue in a European society because we're not Europeans. We are, we are from uh, uh, African ancestry and we need, we, the, the European model does not work for us. So like I said, as I getting ready to wrap up, is black independence. We need our economy, we need to control our education, we need to control our justice, and we need to control our economy. And those are the issues. Again, I, am, I, I sympathize with the victims, um, with the Antoine, um, Antoine Sterling, and also Philando Castillo. My heart goes out to those out to the families of the police officer, the police officers that were killed and injured in Dallas. It is a sad thing. Violence is not the answer here. The answer is a cooperate, a cooperative effort in bringing in um, resources into the black community. This young man, this young man allowed evil to dwell in him, and he was, and so, and so he. Uh, uh, carried out his evil ways upon the police officer. We need to stamp it out as best we can and as soon as we can. 
um, let's come together and create a, an economy to where we can where we can raise our kids um, the way we see fit and the, what's best for them and provide a brighter future for our children. This has been Handicap Born Black in America. I'm Ramon Rome. Please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. You can also find me on Facebook at Ramon Roan. Um, you can also Facebook friend John Singletary, who will be, will be running for mayor in 2019 uh, for Mayor North Charleston. Thank you again. My time is up. Thank you.